Oh, we're on the air. Okay. Yesterday I came out to uh, test out one of my little uh, outfits. This is another one that I put together. Again, just looking for budget uh, bait finesse tackle. This is very light stuff. This one, I believe, has got six pound test on it. And I've caught some pretty big fish on six pound test. And that's uh, five, five gram weight, which is supposedly uh, the max. Six foot six, two piece ultralight. And it should have, here we go, line weight three to six pound test, lure weight, 1.5 1. to nine grams. I don't believe nine grams, but who knows. So anyway, I got the mags turned all the way up on this. All the play is taken out of the uh, spool itself. And uh, I'm trying out this uh, phone thing that holds my phone like a GoPro. So we'll see how that works. I got a little tether wrapped around the phone in case this thing doesn't uh, live up to expectations. My phone won't fall in the river. So we'll walk over here. Yeah, I know, I know. Should be me that falls in the river, not the phone. Way ahead of you. So we'll see how this works. Get ready, try some casts. Yes, it looks like it's gonna rain. Very humid out. It's warm. Uh, I don't see any fish jumping, as usual. Yesterday when I was here, uh, no sooner than I finished talking about it than uh, the people that were off to uh, my left-hand side caught nice big eel they were afraid of it I'm not I handled them things like hundreds and hundreds of times so uh, I took the hook out of it and uh, released it they didn't want to eat it so that's good you don't have to kill and eat everything oh that's wow that's pretty good I just cast that I guess I'm uh, about 40 foot with uh, five, five grams. Spool looks all right, no backlash on that. And you can see that there's so little line on this spool that you can see the spool itself through the line. So you're not, I'm not looking to cast a lot of line, just very light line. And in order to do that, you have to have a very, very light spool. Hey, that video that I put up uh, yesterday, man, that took about four hours to upload to uh, YouTube. It's probably, uh, I had uh, Johnny Five O's link in the, in the thing for you people to get on over to his site and uh, maybe help him out. I mean, he's helped a lot of people out. A lot of people. Wow, this thing's really popping them out there. And this, uh, again, this is salt water, so my, my uh, uh, take on salt water is it ruins tackle. <laughs> it does. Very seasonal fishing. This cast uh, very well. Again, this was all budget, budget stuff. Who makes this? Cast King makes this. The drag seems to be very nice on this. It casts well. Uh, the the mags work very nice on this. Your uh, spool tension adjuster on here. EVA foam grips. Yeah, I'm just getting used to this phone thing, so. Uh, at, at least I'm able to talk in cash now.
cast. Plop. No bird's nest, so I'm happy. Now all I gotta do is get to a spot where there's a ton of fish <laughs> looking to commit suicide. Wow, this cast so much better than I had hoped for. Very nice setup. The, the rod itself, I probably can't, I, I'm, I'll try and pronounce the name. Uh, Moi, Moi Ying. Moi Ying. Ying. Uh, and, and you got to buy this stuff from, from, you know, somebody. If China happened to have this stuff, boy, this thing's really cast and nice. Very nice. Very happy with that. So as much as I cast, I still got quite a bit left on the spool. Which, in case I hook anything up, I'll have a little bit of a uh, give and take. See, that's a contract I have with the fish. They pull one way, I pull the other. I want to thank the... Uh, subscribers again for the support you guys are phenomenal thank you thank you oh uh, they i you know this is what i'd rather be doing there are other things that uh set precedence right now and uh you know you see something you say something everybody knows i'm involved in this accountability uh community thing. I believe in that exposing these bad cops. And there's so many of them out there. I, I, I've posted so much stuff and gotten trolled so many times over this and I, and I can't help but think that these trolls aren't from the police department themselves. Oh, another form of intimidation. And this is the way I see it. Uh, on Facebook... You can get like a favorite viewer status on there that appears on your name when you post on a site, like the police department site. So all, all the stuff that I have to say about the police department, one of them that I know of, I think it was Lacey Township, put me down as uh, one of their favorite viewers. How, how can somebody that has... That's pointing out the fault to be one of their favorites. They ain't that emotionally, uh, uh, you know, uh, stable. So that that just means that, that they're looking at me. They're looking at every statement I make. Every time I make a statement, it goes up, you know, with that little badge banner on there. So it's just another form of intimidation. This thing's really popping them out there. Wow. And what I did was I started loosening up this. I'll loosen it up, you know, click by click and reduce the uh, magnetic uh, interference on the spool so that it casts even further. Right, right now it's casting phenomenally well. I was surprised for, for what I paid for this that the bearings were as good as this, that they actually cast this light line. So this will be a lot of fun when I get to some fresh water, if I get to some fresh water. Uh, fish for some crappies, some trout, some bass, whatever happens to be there, some sunfish. Oh, this thing's really popping them out there nice. I love it. I love it. But when, when I get home from these little saltwater exhibitions, I got to rinse everything off. All of this stuff gets rinsed off, cleaned, wiped dry with a microfiber. And then uh, I spray it down with an anti-corrosive uh, spray, specifically for fishing gear. This cast very well. Very, very well. So this will cast all of those little trout lures, the little tiny spoons and spinners. 
I think I'm seeing something right here jumping. Yeah, right there. There's some stuff breaking water. It doesn't matter. I don't have any hooks. I'm not, I, I didn't come down here to hook anything. I came down here to cast, tune this thing in and see if I could, you know, if there were any more improvements that had to be made. So far, I backed the uh, mags down about three clicks, four clicks, and it's not uh, backlashing on me, so I'm very happy with that. Sounds like the guy's got an LS. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cash very well. So I may order the full ceramic ball bearings for this which reduces the friction further on the spool and allows for even longer casts. But this thing is really popping them out there pretty good. So, there we go. Oh yeah, I'm very happy with this. Try backing it down even yet. One, two, two more clicks. We'll see. You can't always cast, you know, a thousand yards. You know, that's, you know, that's not always necessary to cast that, that, that far. Sometimes you only gotta, you know, give it a little flip out there and you're in business. For most of the freshwater stuff I do, this is just fine. Every, everything is in my range. Yeah, so as soon as it gets home, this thing will get rinsed off. This thing will get rinsed off and uh, put up to dry. Still think fresh water is better more shade can always duck out you know in the tree line you know get some shade take a break get a snack get some water I'm getting hit with like very, very microscopic raindrops. So it's a little tiny drizzling. That doesn't bother me. I remember one time I was up on the Delaware River, up, uh... Yeah, I was north of the uh, Delaware Water Gap. They call it Poxono. P-O-X-O-N-O. Poxono. Poxono. Delaware Water Gap, absolutely stunning place to see. <laughs> Even better to fish that area. I mean, they got huge everything over there. Big walleye, uh, big smallmouth bass, muskies, trout up in there. And I'm fishing with uh, somebody. And I'm using a big, uh, uh, I, I, again, B-U-C-H-E-R, Booker. I think it's Booker, Booker tail spinner bait. Big, big uh, bucktail lure, about as big as, as long as your forearm, easily. And I'm casting that and water's flying off of that into, uh, onto my partner. Now we're in a boat. So the water's splashing on him and he's whining and crying that, uh, you know, the, the, the water coming off of my lure was splashing him. He's, he's, he's out on water. It's, it's also the same guy that claimed that uh, when, when he was... Uh, uh, we're, we're going to uh, put the boat in the water, that he couldn't back his Jeep up 
because if, if the tailpipe touched the water, it would start sucking water up into the engine. And he was a college student. He actually believed that. Uh, uh, an automobile engine is usually one, one way. It goes in the intakes and out the exhaust. Not, not into the exhaust. And that was, his Jeep was fairly new at the time. So it wasn't like there was valve damage or anything where it would cause blow-by or anything or, you know, uh, leaks from the valves. So there was no way that thing was going to start sucking water. So he doesn't back the boat in all the way. And he says, oh, push it, push it, push the thing off the trailer. And I'm pushing it off the trailer. And what the boat rests on when it's in the trailer is called bunks. And uh, this one had carpet bunks, which, again, once the bottom of that boat touches them uh, carpet bunks, uh, it pretty much sticks to it. So you're, you know, safe to go up and down the road if you're properly strapped into it. But it snapped them bunks right in half. He blamed me for it because he didn't want to back the, the Jeep in because it was going to start draining, <laughs> draining the Delaware River. <laughs> you know? It, it, he had the tailpipe in the water and it was going to start sucking the Delaware River dry. He was a piece of work. He, he always used to uh, uh, bust my chops. Uh, back then in the day, as, as is today, ugly sticks were very popular. They're graphite. They're very, very durable rods. Very durable rods. So I'd have them. We're going out for big fish. I, I better have durable equipment. You never know what you're going to hook into in, in a Delaware. 40-inch muskie? Yeah, sure. No problem. Up, up to 50 inches? Yeah. There's, there's good possibilities that uh, you could hook a 50-incher in there. So, you better have decent tackle. And them things got teeth like barracudas. And that's all there is to it. I use steel leaders when I fish for them. Actually, I use titanium leaders and make them up myself. And uh, this is just very peaceful for me, sitting here, chucking and winding. And again, it's not a hook. It's just a sinker. I'm trying to see how many casts I get out of this thing before I, you know, one, two. I'll back it off another two clicks. Let's see how good I do. Take it easy. Plop it right in there. Not too bad. Not too bad. It looked like it wanted to overrun a little on the spool. But I was able to keep that under control. Yeah, this is going to be very nice. This will throw some Really small, soft plastics. And for people that fish trout, you, you fish some tiny stuff. Salmon eggs, little tiny stuff like that. Little tiny zero, double zero spinners and spoons and stuff. Oh, yeah, it, it, it wants the backlash now. So we'll just tighten it back up. I'll go down one. That way I don't have to worry about snapping line off. By the way, tackle. If you're buying tackle for yourself, try to buy bulk. Plastic worms, try and buy bulk. The price of tackle just keeps going up. You'll never see tackle, the price of tackle going down. Just right there on the verge of wanting a bird's nest to backlash. Just wanting to do that, I'll take Put the mag on one one more tighter. But this is casting plenty far. Can't wait to... Uh, my friend Tom says that uh, he's going to try and make it down here. And uh, him and I used to fish for walleye. Big ones. Just a little further north in New Jersey. And... Uh, he, he got hooked on uh, hooking fish, which is cool. So, ran into him again, and 
maybe him and I will get a chance to go out and catch and release a few fish. That's what I like to do, catch and release. Rarely, rarely, rarely do I eat these things, especially from this water. <laughs> you might as well take a mouthful of antifreeze or poison. Most of these beaches down here are uh, under watch and under restrictions because they're so loaded with fecal coliforms. Uh, the, these geese, this, this ground here is just covered. I mean, if you've seen me down here, I, I've always mentioned that this is just covered with goose droppings. Terrible. This is pretty nice, man. I enjoy this. Casting and, uh, casting and BSing. So, no, no, this thing isn't going to jerk out of my hand any second and with a fish taken off on it. There's just a, a lead drop shot weight on here. That's it. Just my little drop shot weight. Casting, seeing where it wants to... And that setting right there seems to be where it likes to be. So where is that? It's just a little bit lower than halfway. Not bad. No cattails around here. That's what I'm used to seeing. When you're around fresh water, if you know what you're doing, everything around you is a food source. Plus, you really don't have to worry about dying of thirst if you're near fresh water. Salt water, you might want to worry about it. Think twice. Make sure you got water with you. Make sure you got plenty of sunscreen with you. Snack or something to keep your uh, blood sugars right. Yeah, so in that last video... It has uh, Johnny Five O's link in the description, I guess. I, I, again, I'm just learning how to do that. Uh, just a little bit more. I'll crank it down one more. Just a little bit above five. And it's drizzling. That's another problem with uh, salt water. You're more likely to get hit by uh, lightning out here. Did there, what, no trees, no nothing? <laughs> I'm the tallest thing in this area. That's a little secret. It's called uh, real magic. Uh, R-E-A-L, Real Magic. It's a line dressing that keeps your line nice and slick so that when you cast it, it shoots through the guides. It's also, uh, you know, conditions the plastic that your line is made out of. Yeah, that feels real good. And supposedly protects your line from uh, ultraviolet deterioration. Which every time you cast, you're putting that amount of line 100% uh, exposed to UVs. Direct UVs and UVs, uh, you know, uh, reflecting off the water. So, Especially when you go fishing sometimes, you see people with a reverse sunburn, <laughs> you know, from the, from the bottom up, you know, the undersides. That's because the UVs are reflecting off the water okay let's see a couple more not bad boom very good very good i'm very impressed and there's a light breeze but that light breeze seems to be at my back which makes casting a little bit easier because i'm not throwing my uh lure into the wind the wind the wind is helping to project it further out the breeze Yeah, this will throw them crappie jigs around real nice. Little small mouth baits. 
And I try and do all of this stuff on, on the, uh, the budget. The reels are inexpensive reels. The rods are inexpensive rods. You can look on uh, eBay at uh, Bait Finesse System Tackle Rods. And I looked at one yesterday. It was $1,500 for the rod. Not the reel, not the line, not the fish, not the boat, just the rod. $1,500. What the heck is that thing made of? Platinum? So the, the, these, again, are really inexpensive, like the $40 range. And the reel is somewhere in that range. And I'll reiterate, if you spend $29 on a setup, you go fishing and the thing falls apart within two casts, what did you save? Nothing. You saved nothing. And then you're going to wind up spending uh, twice that to get something that's a little more reliable. Then you would have been better off getting something reliable right off the bat. Usually for around a hundred bucks, you, you, you get fairly reliable tackle. It'll last you quite a few seasons. This is casting so well. I'm amazed. I'm gonna hook it up to uh, one of these benches and walk off some line. See how well the drag works on this. That's the way I check it. If I could hook this to uh, a stationary object and walk away from that object without breaking the line. That's the whole trick. You could use four pound test. You could use two pound test. If you stay connected to that fish, I mean, that's it. He's swimming around until he's exhausted. And you bring him in, pick him up gently, unhook him, release him. As long as you don't break that line, it doesn't matter. Two pound test. 100 pound test, it just doesn't matter. If you're connected to that fish, you're in good shape. And again, the best tackle out here that I normally see is mason cord and chicken parts. That's it. I, you, you rarely see rods and reels down here. It's like uh, unheard of. Yeah, this is really popping them out there well. This is going to be really nice with a float. And maybe something like a little crappie magnet under it. Or a trout magnet. And crappie magnets and trout magnet look identical except for the size. The trout magnets are a little small. But I've had trout pick up. There's an osprey. And... Uh, Changing his mind, changing his mind. Oh, he got it. He jumped in and he's flying away. Has he got something? My eyes are that bad, getting old. But that is the osprey. And there's usually quite a few of them in this area. That's how you know. When there's plenty of fish, those osprey, they're not wasting any energy. They're, they're, they're trying to raise a family. So they're out hunting for fish. They can't waste energy. So they're not going to be hunting in areas that are devoid of fish. I see a little something moving way out there in that little slick area. Can't cast that far, it doesn't matter anyway. And again, these bluefish, once they come in here, they're 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 packed in solid here. So you really don't even have to cast far. You could just dump it right off of the uh you could dump it right off of the dock here. And uh catch bluefish, little snappers. Yeah, this is really feels good. Really wish I was around fresh water. Very nice, very nice. Cast very well. 
like the cork handles on this on the rod the blank seems to be pretty well balanced the reel is functioning so and the reels that I modified to be uh, bait finesse system reels they work real fine I was just uh, looking at the bearings in them last night Full ceramic. The races and the and the, uh, the balls and them are full ceramic. Very very uh, low friction. Man, that's casting far. I probably can't even walk that off here without one of these people walking across. If I got this line out, usually somebody will walk right through it and almost hang themselves. Let's see. I'll hook it up to. I'll hook it up to this. Let's see. Goose droppings all over the place. Let's see. Wrap it around there a few times. Yeah, that should hold it. I got a hook to the garbage pail. Now I now I can see. Whoop! It slipped out of there. It's so slippery. What the heck? Let's see. Find something better. What the heck? What the heck? Now we'll 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 skip that uh, experiment. See, let's see if I can get a... Oh, see, that's what I was worried about. This phone slipping out of this, this mount. It's sort of like a GoPro mount. But what, are, what, what do GoPros cost? Uh, Roland Martin was on uh, the other night, uh, last night crying. Well, not last night, a couple nights ago. Crying the blues, world champion bass fisherman. He's crying the blues about money. While while he's telling you how he's playing on a trip to Canada, he's got boats. It's crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah, that's popping him right out there. And the retrieve ratio on this one is, what is this? I think it's 8 to 1. Is it or 7 to 1? 7 2 to 1. So for bait casters, that's, that's pretty hot. Back in the day, they were like 3, 3 something to 1. Then they considered high speed reels were like 5 something to 1, and they really were. You know, compared to. The three to ones. Now we have eight to ones. I, I, I think I saw, saw something even higher than uh, eight to one. I have to recheck that stuff. But you, you, uh, when, when you use light line and a light rod in order to uh, make line up real fast and stay in contact with the fish, uh, you need a fast reel to make line up. And you need a good drag, that's for sure. Not, not, not even the uh, crab guys are catching anything. Yeah, this is going to do just fine when I get up to the uh, fresh water. I don't think this isn't the smallest one that I have, the, the shortest. I got one that's shorter than this, and I've already cast with that, and I was very happy with that. And listen, and 
when I go to, to cast, I'm winding up behind me. And these people will walk right behind you. Imagine when you got a hook and you're swinging this rod. These people walk right behind that. It's like a guaranteed trip to the hospital. You know, unless you don't mind pulling hooks out of yourself. this video off thank you folks anybody that tuned in thank you for the uh all the support that last video i had uh put up has johnny 50's link in there uh he can certainly use the support he's going through some really really horrendous times right now so if you look at that last video go into the description you'll see johnny 50's video I'm not just saying something. I reposted his video in the uh, uh, description thing. So go look at that. If you decide to help him out, that's a real good thing. Like, share, and subscribe, folks. We'll be talking at you later. This is 36 minutes. Jeez. Later.